Hey guys, what is up and welcome to the 21st episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Crime Mode. That is right, so, uh, as we get into this episode, we are going to be playing in games against Watford and, I think, Crystal Palace, maybe? But, um, yeah, it's two Prem games, but regardless, uh, this lineup, so, Ducore cannot play, given he has a straight, uh, red card. Well, more so a red card from yellow card accumulation, but, uh, yeah, that's how it is, so... Let's get into this match versus Watford. So at the moment, we are only three points behind Man U. That's likely going to become six again. So it's absolutely key that we can go along and grab a victory here. So let's get into it. Let's build on our great victory over Anderlecht. 2 nil, And move forward. All right, so first game of the episode. So at the moment, we are pretty much... Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second, Man United lost the game, actually. Oh, wow. I thought I thought uh, they had a game in hand on us. Okay. So that actually ramps up the pressure a little bit. If we are able to grab a victory here, we're able to draw level with United with the exact same record. So, yeah, huge game, clutch game. Can we come up with the goods when it matters most? So let's take a look at the two teams. So first of all, we're going to be taking a look at the show you the Watford lineup so they're running a 4-3-3 so Cabasele, Holobas, Proto and Yanma in the defense they got Cleverly, Burami and Roberto Pereira they have Mbainiang, Okaka and Amrabat and then on the bench they have who they have including Mauro Zarate so you know our lineup let's get into this game and grab a victory uh, I'll keep it the way it is in terms of offense at the moment. We haven't been bad, we just haven't been great, so hopefully we can wake the heck up, get a goal, and then we will play much better. Where's Ake going? Oh my, oh, okay. Oh my god, no, 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 no! What a strike! It's the first shot of the game, and it's a stunner from Watford! Oh my goodness, we're crumbling under pressure. Ake, 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 you... Oh my, no! We've lost to Watford! Oh, we've choked. We have totally choked. That is a dreadful result, as we lose an absolute shocker. And we really collapse when it matters most. Devastating defeat. A point would have done us uh, pretty good, but... Man, that could really come back to cost us. Yeah, we're going to have to change our uh, thoughts quickly. So, yeah, we're going to pretty much just switch to our Europa League squad for this match. Um, yeah, almost a semi-full team. Uh, switch him with Almiron, put Ducore there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so we're going to switch into our Europa League squad. So, uh, yeah, kind of a disappointing defeat against Watford. Uh, you kind of like a lot more consistency, dare say, um, as you'd kind of expect to see to be the side of their quality. But uh, regardless, there's nothing you can really do about it. I mean, it's kind of a kick in the teeth, but it was kind of reality at the same time. We can't expect to win every single game that we play. So yeah, let's go back, let's get a victory over Crystal Palace, and let's actually show our quality instead of just crumbling at the first chance. Alright, so, second game of the episode, we have to bounce back from the disappointing defeat uh, from Watford. So yeah, uh, confident we have the quality to do so, but it's uh, never going to be easy. They are uh, solid side Crystal Palace, you show them a little more respect. Um, but yeah, a couple players have gone up a rating, I think Ducure, Zuma, and Courtois have all gone up. One, Ducure to 79, Zuma to 82, and then... It is indeed Courtois 91. So yeah, let's take a look at the two lineups. All right, so we set up in the 4-3-3 false nine. So Jesus up top, we got Traore and Masanda, and then we got Almiron and Sesc, I believe, in the midfield. So yeah, it's a good quality team. Yet again, we just need to be smarter in terms of putting our chances away. So Crystal Palace, they're having Madana in goal. Uh, Adrian Rabiot from PSG, I swore I saw him, and then I was like, there's no way they have him, and it's like, wow, okay, what a pickup for Crystal Palace, uh, 
he'll be a danger to play against, but uh, hopefully we can get a good goal and uh, start the game off well. Okay, it's away. Uh, Jesus. It's Gabriel Jesus. It comes a goal right from a clearance. It's Gabriel Jesus. Shows an insane pace yet on the end of it. It's just meant as a clearance. Just stabs it up. And Jesus shows some incredible pace. Picks it up. Great first touch. And a quality finish into the back of the net. And we establish a one and they can do nothing. Just brilliant um, accidental through ball, but it works in our favor. So get in there. Come on. It's Zuma punched away. Finish in! It's Kurt Zuma! And we are up 2 nothing. A solid as you like finish from him. And Kurt Zuma, the great finish there, smacks it in to the back of the net. Yet again, no chance for the keeper. And uh, yeah, just perfection personified. And very pleased to establish a 2 nothing lead. Okay, and that's free kick to uh, Crystal Palace. Now it's going to be uh, Townsend. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus! It's Gabriel Jesus! And it's 3 nothing, and we are emphatically responding after a disappointing result against Watford. Great from Jesus, shows some fantastic pace, and a good finish, pretty much right into the corner. You have to say, quality finish after he was literally falling right onto the ground. It's 3 nothing, and we are showing that it is party time indeed. And there we go, that's halftime. We are up 3 nothing over Crystal Palace. We have a game upcoming in uh, three days against Man City, so no doubt it's going to be a triple substitution. So I'll only run for... Kennedy, um, Gonzalez for Fabregas, and I think Batshuayi for Jairi, and then Jesus will go on the left wing. So, there we go. Uh, yeah, we're leading, and pleased about it. Triple substitution. Hopefully, we can uh, grind out this result. Well, I mean, it's 3 nothing, but let's not pull a Burnley and nearly collapse. Uh, Masanda, what kind of touch is that? I, excuse me. No, 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 no. No, no, you're not getting away with, like, nothing. Oh, my, oh, my goodness! What a cross! And, uh, Masanda's to blame to that. That is a simply stupendous ball. Okay, we've, uh, conceded one. Wow. Okay, we need to keep our head up a little bit more. Uh, and there we go. Uh, end off the game a little bit of annoyance as we uh, conceded a last minute goal, but pretty much that was their only shot on target. So a solid 3-1 victory over Crystal Palace. So much better uh, state of mind there. We were solid, rampant for the first 30 minutes, pretty much turned off for the next 60 minutes. So to get a 3-0 result, I will take that. So they did actually indeed draw their game, so we're really starting to put the pressure on uh, Man U at the moment. But yet again, our schedule is just extremely busy. Like, it's so busy, honestly. Um, yeah, we still have another episode before we even get to the Europa League match. Like, jeez. Yeah, so huge match for Man City. They are currently at uh, the... Where are Man City, actually? Manchester City are in fourth. Wow. Wow. Okay, wow, I did not see that coming. Uh, Pep's not adjusting so well uh, to the Prem in real life, eh? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The in 30 games, I've conceded only 12 goals. <laughs> only 12 goals, yeah. Uh, pretty good stat to gloat about, but that's going to be the end of the episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. 
And yeah, I shall see you guys later. Peace!